Okay. Problem solved. I hit that right there, hit it all up with the Sharpie, make it look good, and then right, punched a hole in it right there. Turn it over. The wires are coming up right there, which they can now lay flat all the way down here, and then I gotta get an, an extension and a Y harness, and um, I'll do that all up front. But for right now, I just wanna get it to lay down that channel like that, not interfere with the EDF. Okay, that was a long pause. I was searching and searching, and I finally found a control horn. This is two-sided, but I cut off the other side on this side. And that is going to, what I'm gonna do is that's gonna work like, let me do this one-handed, baby. Come on, get on there. It's supposed to fit. There we go. That's going to go there. And then I found a long old control rod bent. But that's okay because it's bent after we hook it up. See, it'll go this way. That's going to go like this. That's going to hook up there. And then I'm going to use a... What do you call those things? What is the name of... Here's one that's busted. You know, the little thing that goes in the servo. You push it through and then tighten up the uh, set screw. And it holds there. I'm going to do that here. Cool. Okay, here's my rudder setup. Okay, I went with putting the servo vertically because... Um, I was having trouble with the reversing situation, and uh, but it works out fine. Here you go. Because that nose wheel's got to be going right too. So we're looking good. Everything's looking real good. Okay. So now, uh, boy, we got to deal with this. And good luck, sir. All right, dang, that was a long pause, but we're back recording what's going on. Okay, I got this, I got this off of there, and um, let's see, on here, this piece that holds the rod that goes through, that piece comes off, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it there just kind of for strength, but instead of putting it flush, I'm just gonna back it off just a little bit so that my wing en ends up flush here. But what I'm going to do now before I do anything is I'm sanding the edges here, the gluing edge, I'm going to sand there, and then we got to sand all the paint off of this so that it gets a nice strong bond in there, wherever we're going to be gluing. So we'll sand that up and get that going and glue it off. And on these, I'm, I'm thinking that... I'm going to put them in the same spot and I'm going to keep the control horn at the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this just on the other side of this control horn and I'm going to cut it all the way across. So that'll give me plenty of elevator. That looks pretty, that much, of, seemed like it'd be pretty good. And then we'll do the same amount on the other side. So let's just work on this side first and see what we come up with. Okay, so I got both um, elevators off of there. My cut them like that and then I put you know a little angle on this side so that they would be able to bend now my deal is that I didn't want to have to make a trip to the hobby shop so unfortunately the only way I could hinge this was with tape I think we'll be okay and what I'm gonna do right now is ooh, doggy I'm going to put in I'm gonna let me see if we can get this on tape okay here on this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up like this. Open it up, and then I'm gonna hit it with a little, just a drop. I can't even get a drop out of this thing. Here we go. Just hit it with a drop of, of uh, hot glue. Come on, we'll get there. Oops, got a, got a little too much on there. Hot glue there, then like one in the middle. This is just to reinforce it here. But don't do too much or it won't, it won't be able to bend. And I like doing one by the uh, the arm there, make it, make it much more, uh, 
like that. Kind of work it in a little bit. And then, just gonna let it dry like this. Flat. Now I did it to this one. And once you, after you do it, you gotta kind of work it in a little bit, but this is fine. Not a whole lot of down elevator, but that's enough. All kinds of up elevator, which is good. So we got hinges and they feel pretty strong. They're not going anywhere. I like that. Next step is to glue them up. Glue them up. I got, they're big. They're very big. And because I told you I was going to cut behind the servo horn, duh. I have to cut in front of it so that it can go like this. Okay? Okay. Moving along. Okay. All right. Gluing them on. I'm just going to glue them wherever the control horn fits best so I don't have to mess with the, with the, I mean, the linkage rod. So, like, it's this long, so I'm just going to stick it next to the fuselage like that, and then that's where I'll glue it. But, these are reverse servos, and their control horns are pointing inward. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them pointing out over here. I'm going to switch them, and I believe if I do it that way on both of them, I can hit my reverse switch on my transmitter and it should work properly again. So let's get that going. Alright, so here we go. We got the, uh, the elevators on there, the horizontal stabilizers, the elevator, and both sides are done. What I did, how I glued them on, is that I centered the servo and then um, put my, put my uh, push rod on there on the wing got it all set up and wherever that I lined it up so that this was level and then just pushed it on with the glue and held it so everything was this is centered this is centered this is level here and everything else so I'm gonna hook up to the electronics let's hook it up to this kind of still even there it is so let's hook it up to the electronics and then see what we got Yes, sir. Okay, let's plug it in and set that right like this or something and turn on the transmitter. That's on. Now we're going to plug it in. And by the way, it's plug it in. It's not plugging it up. We don't plug up the battery. We plug in the battery. It's a little pet peeve of mine, that's all. Well, anyways, back to the plane. Okay, so there it is. Let's see what happens. No, that's the that's the rudder. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, okay, like I said, my... Uh, let me switch hands here. My elevators are backwards because remember I switched the control horn here, switched the control there. So now, at least both of them are going in the same direction back there. Because I'm pulling down on the stick and the elevator is going down. So, um, but they're Elevon style. That's good. Let me, I, I'll switch that, that. Everything's working. So far, so good. I don't know. Let me switch. Okay. Now. I actually went into my Elevon mixing. That's on dual rate right now. But I went into Elevon mixing on here and messed with it, but things got all wacky. So I ended up just switching out or switching the control horn over to the other side. See, so now they're pointing inward. And that solved all my problems. And we can give it a try. Turn to the right, stick to the right, stick to the left, stick down. Stick up, down, right, left. And I go higher rates here. There's that. A big circle. I don't know, man. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, man. And it, it's it's on there strong you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drive a couple of the barbie maybe just yeah maybe one or two barbecue skewers right in there for like you know uh, us that way it's stronger so let's that will be the next step i just wanted to give you a quick look 
at what I'm gonna do to strengthen that because there's not a, there's not a whole lot there just you know just this little piece right here so put the barbecue skewers in and then I'm just gonna take my little tiny pliers and click it off of there and on this one this one's gonna be a little bit harder so I'm gonna turn the camera off and do that then I just take my marker and and just color right over that and it'll be strong let me do this one on the other side. Okay, there's a quick shot of the innards here. Uh, got the got the EDF tacked down, lightly tacked down, not too much. Got the wires taped down, exposed a little bit of the ESC. Taped down all the wires nice and neat. Zip tied them, taped them all down nice and secure. Now all we gotta do is get the hatch. We'll give it a test run first to make sure the motor's working and whatnot. This here is what a, an, an Okay, here is the finished product. All back together and ready to rock and roll. Everything's looking good. No bombs on there. Streamlined. I'm thinking that this thing's going to fly. But you know what? If it doesn't fly, hey man, I, I really enjoyed putting it together and doing all that work on it, regardless if it flies or not. It was a lot of fun. So let's get the electronics in it and see what we got. Okay, let's turn on the radio. That throttle down. I got my full throws. Okay. Now let's get into the... Plug in the battery. Let me set this down real quick. Okay, I see a little light down there. Let's see, what was I gonna do with this thing? I got, I got all my wires. I got all my wires. Look at that. The Dean's plug is just right there, isn't it? How about can I route? There we go. Got to get trained to stay in that position. Okay. All right. Now let's get the hatch back on her. hatch is not fitting there we go there it is much better okay now let me get my radio let me get my radio give it a shot let's see here what's my best angle of attack here on the video right there okay how about some ailerons Look at that. Look at that. Elevator. Elevator. Wait, that. There it is. I wasn't I wasn't pushing it down straight. Elevators are good. Looking real good. How about that rudder? You still got that thing? that look at that movement we got going let's put it on full throws now oh my oh my look at that the ailerons and everything else on full throws you got things just bouncing around hey it, i didn't build it weak i can tell you that they're not going anywhere now for the for the big part and that is to test the motor. Sounds like it's doing pretty good. Let me get in front of it just in case. I don't know. What does it seem like? Seems like it's gonna work. If it can push it, if it can push it a little bit on this rack, then it'll work. You see that? Okay, the next step is to take it out and see if it's actually gonna fly.